Uh, let's get into this week's business idea. I f- have failed us, and uh, did not bring a yeah. I did not bring a business idea to the episode this week. But good thing Tyler had two last week that I could choose from, and I'm going to choose the second one that we didn't talk about last week for this <laughs> week's episode. So Tyler, get into this week's business episode. I promise I'll have one next week. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, macro restaurants. That is the name of the bit, this week's business idea. Yeah, I I think it depends. So it's going to be a really niche market that you're going to be targeting this towards. And also it probably does exist in some cities, but having a macro restaurant where it lays out all your macros for your foods. And I think it would primarily be really healthy foods that, you know, maybe people that, promote a healthy living, they work out, they run, you know, they want to eat healthy, they care about what they're putting in their body. That's going to be your niche target market. So it's going to be, it's going to be a tough market to get into and you're not going to be targeting every single person. So it's going to be basically a restaurant where you go, you on the menu, you have all the macros and it's also going to be really clean. So it's going to be, you know, your, your chicken breasts and I don't, I don't really salads. Um, yeah. you know, healthy foods and basically it's just going to be chicken and salad quick and easy. <laughs> yeah. Pretty That's much. the restaurant yeah. name. Hey, it's called chicken and salad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not a bad idea, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I saw one around where I live, but it's not a restaurant. It's just grab and go type of deal. Like maybe meal prep type of thing. So there is that aspect of it. And I know meal prep services are pretty prevalent and have, you know, take, have a little had a little uptick in the last few years because a lot of people are care more about their health and wellness but i think just having a restaurant around that area with all the health wellness tracking your macros i think that would be pretty pretty interesting possibility i like this idea and now the more that you explain it i knew the business idea just from reading it but i like this idea that almost an influencer or someone that really promotes healthy living and healthy eating and these diets or whatever it might be, this might be a good venture that they could go down. You've seen David Dobrik. He just opened some pizza restaurant or something or another. Uh, Dobrik Pizza, uh, hmm. something like that. Uh, so he opened that and other influencers, you know, Emma Chamberlain started a coffee company where if you think your favorite fitness influencer, if they opened a brick and mortar restaurant, in New York city called, you know, chicken and salad and pretty much everything on the menu <laughs> was macro. Like you would really appeal to one, the followers that you have because they're yeah. loyal enough to go to your brick and mortar restaurant and the people that are, uh, you know, people that go to the gym, guys, girls, whoever it is. Uh, and that really care about that healthy living. But I think it might be a good Avenue for someone that already has amassed a following. It might be difficult to start if you're just Joe Schmo and you're like, Hey, I want to start a business. Yeah, especially be, because restaurants are already a really tight margin mm-hmm. business to go into. Going into one that is extremely niche down makes it that much tougher. Yeah, but if you have that audience, I think it makes it tremendously yeah. easier. So if you want to be a fitness guy one day, Tyler, you should uh, <laughs> amass a following on fitness, bring it one in day. to chicken and salad, and uh, yeah, Start I'll do juicing. the videos for it. <laughs> perfect yeah. yeah you can get our trx or what's the steroid called i don't know if there's some oh, trend trend yeah yeah there you go we'll, we'll hop on we'll hop on do a few cycles yeah a few cycle my last cycle was last week <laughs> i see those currently on creatine but creatine's there not bad go. uh yeah. i almost took creatine i did take creatine for a little bit when i was playing hockey but then i was like ah, gotta go to the gym more if i'm gonna take creatine <laughs> Uh, but no I do like that idea and especially if it's more niche down I'm really into the idea of influencers and internet personalities branching off into different business ventures that are specifically niche to what their followers know about that influencer such as maybe it's a brick and mortar restaurant or Emma Chamberlain with the coffee company things that the their followers know they like start delivering them a product it helped your mm-hmm. followers already there. You can sell it to them and it gives you another source of revenue. Yeah. Even me, Mr. Beast opened up his beast burger or whatever it's called. Mm. He just has yeah. that fault. He could literally sell freaking oxygen yeah. and people would buy it. Yeah. Like even Peter McKinnon, he sells a camera backpack now, camera bag. And if yeah. you're a huge yeah. Peter, Peter McKinnon fan and you have 
just disposable income where you want to buy the most expensive camera bag on the market, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> it is there for you. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if more influencers would go in that direction, it might get oversaturated with some people thinking, oh, I'm this big influencer. But uh, I know like you betcha. Have you seen the you betcha guy? Like if he was yeah. to create some Midwest product, I'm sure a lot of his Midwest people would want to buy that. For sure. I, I think he did do something. I don't know. Maybe yeah. maybe not. I don't know. I, don't I feel like he did. Him, but yeah. so, okay. yeah, I like that idea. Macro good call, Tyler.